Good kill, good kill. Hey, good kill. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. We're here in the F-16 Viper. We're going to be fighting the F-15 STOL MTD. This is the, the little acronym there. It means short takeoff and landing, and the MTD is Maneuver Thrust Demonstrator. Uh, it was uh, basically an F-15B Bravo variant uh, with canards and thrust vectoring engines. It's uh, quite an interesting little uh, experiment that they did here with the F-15. Already a deadly dogfighter. And then to have these upgrades, I think, takes it to the next level. Here we go into the merge. Uh, we're going to take him... Looks like he's trying to force one circle. Which, you know, for sure makes sense. If I had canards and thrust vectoring, I'd probably do the same. Especially if I was fighting a, an F-16. Uh, who is obviously the king of the, the two-circle. Uh, this is a guns only fight. We're gonna do our best here against uh, this F-15 variant. I'm really fast here. And there we go. We're gonna have to reverse the turn here because he was fast too. So I figure reversing the turn might get him out in front, and it did. There he goes. Although now I'm slow, and he'll force a one circle fight. This actually might have been more of a mistake than anything else, to be honest. Because it made sense in the moment, he, he seemed like he was faster, so I, I figured going one circle and slowing down would get him out in front, and it did, but it doesn't solve the problem that now you're stuck in a one circle with an F-15 who has canards and thrust vectoring. Here we go, look at this. Ooh, he's got some flares out. Uh, should we do a video with me and the F-15? Let me know in the comment section. Ooh, wow, that was close. He almost gunned me. Uh, here we go. Still in the one circle. Okay, here we go. He is definitely maneuvering to my 6, and I'm kind of slow here at 190 knots. Definitely not where the F-16 wants to be. And look at this, he's dominating me in the one circle. Uh, I fear we've made multiple big mistakes in this fight, actually. <laughs> look at this. Oh, I'm gonna roll with him here. There's still a chance that I can squeeze him out in front in the one circle if he makes a mistake. So... It's not over till the fat lady sings, as they say. There he goes over top. He's actually pretty close. Nope, never mind. He just slots right in on my six there. Oh, he's he might actually hit the ground here, it looks like. Um, I'm not gonna make that mistake. No, I'm gonna try not to make that mistake. It's a little bit hard to fight the F-15. Uh, and the mistake I'm referencing is, uh, basically going one circle with him because I got too slow. But it's hard. It's actually kind of hard to not do that, uh, in this fight. I'm gonna do my best to avoid it, but that's not as easy as it seems. Because the F-15 is, uh, it almost seems like he's beating me in the two circle at times, which is a little bit concerning. I think the margins are very narrow, uh, but I think the F-16 still has a bit of an edge there. We got him two circle. no, he's reversing into a one circle. A little bit of vertical use by him. This is the Afghanistan map, for anybody wondering, it's the newly released map by EB. Got some rounds there that luckily uh, did not connect. 
Looks like you didn't have enough lead there. There we go. Kind of got him back into that one circle that I don't want to be in. General rule of thumb is don't get slower than about 350 knots in the F-16. Uh, anytime I've managed to keep my speed above that, I've always had options in the F-16. Uh, here we are at pretty high speeds here, and he took my six. I got a little fast there. He's on my six, I'm taking shots. And he's trying not to overshoot, so I'm gonna... He broke to the right here to try to not overshoot. Uh, that thing doesn't have a gun, by the way. Uh, the gun was removed to place the canards, so uh, he's using a gun pod. He has a gun pod on the belly uh, that's allowing him to shoot. Uh, so we're in a one circle here, and I'm actually winning, which is interesting. Uh, you can see him using vertical, the displacement, to try to fix the, the issue that I keep squeezing him out in front. Um, but so far it's working for me. Although the longer I stay in this one circle fight, the slower he gets and the more the fight turns into his favor. And as you can see, he just took my six o'clock there, which is very bad. So now I gotta work for the overshoot. There's enough separation that I've basically tried to go back into the two circle from here. I also had some speed, I had over 350 knots. This is what I was saying when I said it leaves you with options, if you're not too slow. And look at this, he's trying to pull lead here. No stuck in leg there, he couldn't get the lead. But I had to tighten it down in order to avoid it there. And unfortunately that's made me slow at 230 knots now, very bad. I'm trying to fly a little bit evasively, see if I can bring him in close and get an overshoot going. Here he is, he's fast, look at this, he's coming in. Oh, he's trying not to overshoot. There he goes once again in the one circle. I get him out in front. I bet you that thing just has so much power, the F-15, that it's hard to... Look at this. Look how easily he moves back to the, to the 6 o'clock position. It's actually kind of concerning. Uh, and unfortunately, I don't have the speed to rip into the two circle. And, like, start raiding around. Because I, I think I can still outrate him. I don't think that he hasn't taken that away from me. But the way he keeps pointing his nose and forcing me to jink is making that difficult. Here he is on my six here. Oh, it's going to be tight. Oh, we got hit. I'm okay. I'm okay. Everything's good. Aircraft's still responsive. Where is he? Up high. Look at this. Here we go. We're still in the fight. It's not over till the fat lady sings. Here we go. And yes, <laughs> all right, we got him. He's leaking something, uh, probably fuel. Looks like he, oh, he's missing a wing, is he? He doesn't look so good. Ejection, oh my God, we got him. <laughs> wow. All right, splash one, F-15, wow. So what I think happened there was once he shot me, I think he thought the fight was over. Uh, the F-16 
it's such a small aircraft that hitting it even once should really disable it, but um, unfortunately all he did was clip a part of my tail off, uh, so I was actually for the most part fine. And uh, he kind of stopped maneuvering in relation to me because he thought I was dead, uh, which is what allowed me to get nose on there. That's why like, continue to maneuver in relation to your bandit, you know, until you're sure he's dead. And generally that means he's hit the ground. Here we go, split S. Looking good. Even sometimes an ejection is not an indicator that the aircraft is dead. Cross my nose? Almost. Because like if you have something like an F-14, I've had that before where it, it, I see a parachute and it's just Jester <laughs> bailing out. The pilot's still in it and the uh, F-14 is still combat effective at that point. So way too fast because I was talking, I was chit-chatting. We're down to 490 knots on the deck, so I'm just going to rip into the two circle from here. Definitely way too fast, but I'm just going to go for it anyway. And hopefully we can outrate him, and I kind of am. He's actually a little bit slower than me here. He's trying to pull some lead. Oh, he's trying. Those rounds uh, went short. I'm going to reverse the turn because I'm so slow at 220 knots. And he's pretty fast, you see. There he goes again up top. And I'm stuck in this one circle, so we're just going to make the most of it. I'm going to stay here with him. Look at this. Here we go. Oh, oh, oh. Do we have something here? Almost. Almost got the nose on. But look at this. He's still out in front. He's coming back down. Maybe we got something here. Hold on. Yes. <laughs> there you go. Splash F15 again. You know, that's why the one circle is a little dangerous, because if you just miscalculate something a little bit, you'll end up crossing the other guy's nose. 